Okay, we generally finish the dinam of uh, candle lighting of lich, lich benshin. So the next thing in halach is the concept of kiddush. We discussed the other day that there's biblical kiddush and rabbinic kiddush. Biblical kiddush is verbally saying something about mekadosh Shabbos, or Shabbos kiddush, or something about the sanctity of Shabbos. But in addition to that, you also have to do it over a cup of wine. Now, just to explain something in the davening, which is pertaining to the Kiddush. After Maidav and Friday night, after the Shmon Esri, we say Vayichulu. Even though you said it in davening itself, in the, in the Shmon Esri, you said Vayichulu. Nevertheless, you say it again after Shmon Esri. Then you say it a third time when you go home, by Kiddush. Now, why do you say it three times? <laughs> So the answer really is what something that happened this Yom Tov, the way it's set up. In other words, like this. You say Vayichulu because the Gemara says, whoever says Vayichulu is giving testimony that the Hashem created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Now, when Shabbos falls out in Yom Tif, like this year, Pesach, the beginning and end was Shabbos. So over there, in the Yom Tif you don't say Vayichulu. And Vayichulu is so important, we want that when Shabbos and Yom to fall out together, that in the Shemun Esri there is no Vayichulu, so you should say it. Because of that, every Friday night we say it again after the Shemun Esri. Why? Because when Yom to falls on the Shabbos, then you don't say it in the Shemun Esri, so you have it again. Now, what, why do you say it a third time by Kiddush? So that says to be made to your family that didn't have a marriage. If they weren't in shul, they didn't have a marriage. So you say Vayichulu three times. Nevertheless, the, the din is and the minig is, that's a guy's all by himself. He says Vayichulu Shmon Esri, Vayichulu after davening, and Vayichulu by Kiddush. But the real reason why you say Vayichulu Friday night after davening is when Yom Tif falls on in Shabbos, but you don't say Vayichulu in the Shmon Esri, so then at least you say it afterwards. Huh? Because the emphasis is Yom Tif. The emphasis is Yom Tif, the emphasis is not, Shab- is, uh, is not Shabbos. That's why there's a lot of things, the, the emphasis, it depends what it is. What? Yeah, at but you don't say Vayichulu. Okay, so that's what we said after that. Huh? I said because when Shmona, yes, Yom Tov is Shabbos, so in the Yom Tov Shmonesi, there's no Vayichulu, so you say it then. So therefore, every Shabbos you say it for in the case when Yom Tov falls on in Shabbos. Because somebody just asked that, why didn't they make that in Shmonesi? Because Yom Tov, the emphasis is on Yom Tov, not on Shabbos. Because it's part of the davening of, of Vayichulu is the testimony of Shabbos. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the Anshi Knesset established it. Because it's a very important tefillah testifying that Hashem created the world in, in seven days. Very one second. Which, by the way, brings to another point that this is only according to our Nusuch. Maybe other, but generally speaking, it's not anybody else's Nusuch. In Yav, Friday night, Yismachu v'malchuscha, at the end you say, Zeichel emaisi Shachris, Chemdas Yomim, Eise Kerasa, and I've said that we do not say Zechel Maise Bereshis. Most of we do say Zechel Maise Bereshis. Right? If you look in the Siddur. So why don't we say Zechel Maise Bereshis Shabbos morning by Shachris? So the Shah Kerala writes that the reason for that is because Shabbos morning, the emphasis is on Matan Tera. Yismach Meshe B'Matnas Chalkei, that we say Shabbos morning, is because of Matan Tehidah. So there's a lot of different aspects of Shabbos. So Friday night, Shabbos is Zeichel HaMai By Mosef, it's Zeichel HaMai But Shabbos morning, when Tehidah was given Shabbos morning, the emphasis is on, on Matan Tehidah, so you don't say Zeichel HaMai because you're talking about Matan Tehidah. Stamets, everything has its, its place and meaning. Okay, so now, like this. So you come home from Shul. The custom is, you say, Shalom Aleichem. 
the four things three times, and then you say Eshes Chayil, which is for the Jewish woman, and then you, then you make Kiddush. Three times each paragraph. Shalom Aleichem, Be'echem L'Shalem, Baruchun Yishom. I think everybody does that. No, I thought, was saying, I thought when you, as, as you come in, you say that. By the way, there's an interesting thing. If you look in the Siddur and in Shulchan Aruch, it's something people don't do. <laughs> what happens if you come home, and that, this is what everybody does not do what you're supposed to do. If you look in the Siddur, now the Siddur, the Al-Tarebbe writes, when you come home, you say Shalom Aleichem. And then it's just Chayel. Then if you look on the next page, it says, say the Kiddush Lel Shabbos. Okay? Now, let's say you're coming home, and you're not going to eat for an hour or two. Yeah? Halachically, the proper thing to do is as soon as you come home, to say Shalom Aleichem and Eshes Chayel. Because why do you say Shalom Aleichem? Because the angels are accompanying you home from Shul. Shalom Aleichem, Eshes Chayel, if you look in the Siddur, has really nothing to do with Kiddush. Take it, the, oh, I don't know the new ones, are, but in the old Siddurim, you see, not in these, these I don't know if they have it. But in the, in the older, you know, in the, the old, yeah, those types. It says, Shabbat Lebei Say Eimim Shalom Aleichem, which makes sense because the, you're greeting the Malachim that are walking home with you from Shul, right? That's what the Gemara says. Every Jew walks home from Shul, there's two angels accompanying him. And then afterwards, you come to, Kiddush, to, to Kiddush, which begins Bismillah David. Huh? In the Siddur, it says, Shabbat Lebei Say Yemazet. When you come home, you say Shalom Aleichem. Then after Eishes Chayel says, say the Kiddush Lel Shabbos. This is called Tikkun Shabbos. The Kiddush begins actually Mizmah David. So it's really is two separate things. In other words, as it says in, in the Lashon, this is the Rebbe's Lashon, by the way. Say when you come home, you say Shalom Aleichem, which makes sense because the Malachim are walking you home. Then you have Kiddush. That begins with Mizmah Ladovit, with Askinah Siddhasa, with Yem Does every member of the family have to say that? The custom is, again, I don't know what the Sfadim custom is, because by the Sfadim, they have a concept, one says it for everybody. You wait for the guests, you say once. It depends what nationality, sometimes you'll wait three hours for them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> depends where they come from. What? Okay, in, in, in Halach it says, the question? the question is a very good question. What happens if you're running a little late with the minion? Not because you got to be come late to show. Nobody ever comes late to show. <laughs> but they're davening longer the, the Shmanesri. And then the minion already said Vayachulu. And you're finishing the Shmanesri. And the minion already finished Vayachulu. So in the world there's a minig that you find somebody else to say Vayachulu. To say Vayachulu with them. What's the reason for that meaning? Because again, the Gemara says, whoever says Vayichulu Friday night is testifying that Hashem created the world. Testimony is two people. So by the meaning Ha'elam, the world has a meaning that they take us to look for somebody else. In Chabad, the custom is we don't look for anybody else, we say it ourselves. You have never shul kif, never shabamis, you know, whatever. Split personalities. You mean, can you say Shalom Aleichem twice? Yeah, just say, instead of the three times... You can say Shalom Aleichem the whole day. Instead of saying the three times once, you say one of you down No, you're supposed to say three times. Each one should be said three times. That's... You can say three times three. So three times three is five times. I'm saying, if you want to say the Shalom Aleichem properly once and do it again, you can do it a whole day. You could do it every day of the week. You can do Shalom There's no mention of Hashem's name. You could do it. Okay, so then the Kiddush Friday night after you say Shalom Aleichem, Eshes Chayel, and all the other preparations. So then Kiddush on Friday night starts Yem Hashishi, Vayichul HaShemayim Vaoditz. Okay? Some people begin, Vayere Vayibaker, quietly, and then they say Yem Hashishi, Vayichul HaShemayim. This is a whole discussion in Halacha. 
because really Yom Hashishi is not the, in, in Chumash it says like this Vayar Elokim Eseh Shkoa Sheva Inei Tev Meid then the next passage says Vayi Erev Vayi Beike Yom Hashishi stop then begins a new passage Vayi Chul Hashemayim Vars Chotzvah okay so technically you shouldn't start with Yom Hashishi Yom Hashishi no, makes no sense Yom Hashishi Vayi Chul Hashemayim Vars so many people have a minig that they say quietly before Kiddush, and then begin Yem Hashishi. Because the Chesam Sefer asks on this, you're not allowed to say a Pasuk that Meshach Rabbeinu didn't make. You're making up a new two-word Pasuk, Yem Hashishi. And Meshach Rabbeinu never had such a Pasuk. Meshach Rabbeinu always said, Yem Hashishi. The reason why we start Yem Hashishi, instead of Vayichul HaShemayim, it's like we do in Davening, because Yem Hashishi Vayechulu Hashemayim is Yutke Vavke. Yem Hashishi Vayechulu Hashemayim. So you begin the Kiddush with Yutke Vavke. And that's the meaning in most places, especially according to Arnasuch, we don't say Vayer Vayabeke Yem Hashishi, we start Yem Hashishi and Vayechulu Hashemayim Vayat Chol Tzvam. And again, we said the reason why we say it again by Kiddush, we said it already twice, is for the people in the house that didn't go to show. Then you make the Brei Pia Gafen Bracha, and then you make the Bracha of Shekid Shon Mitzvah Sevela Tzavano, you know, the whole Bracha Bracha Tashem Akadosh HaShabbos. Okay, that's, and then you sit down and drink the wine. Now many people have a custom that they sit down by Kiddush Friday night also. Our meaning is that we stand by Kiddush Friday night. Uh, Kiddush during the day, depends which Chabadnik you talk to and when you talk to them. Officially, the Rebbe writes, our meaning is to stand by Kiddush, Friday night and Shabbos day. The reason why you will find a lot of Chabadniks that sit Shabbos day when they make Kiddush and they just get up a little bit by the bracha is for a reason that doesn't make sense at all. Because when the Rebbe would make Kiddush by a Fabrengen, the Rebbe didn't stand it's, well, there's only you know, in the bracha. The Rebbe just picked himself up a little bit. When the Rebbe made Kiddush privately in his office or at his home, the Rebbe stood, Kiddush Shabbos day. The reason why the Rebbe didn't stand for Kiddush by the Fabreng is because the Rebbe didn't want everybody in the crowd to stand up. If the Rebbe would have stood up, everybody would have stood up. He didn't want to be matreach, everybody. So the Rebbe, it says, so the Rebbe just picked himself up. Up it was a din of standing. And so a lot of guys say, oh, that's what the Rebbe did, and therefore, but if they don't, you know, it doesn't make sense that because of that, they don't stand by Kiddush, because the Rebbe, number one, in, in private, the Rebbe did stand by Kiddush, even by day. And the reason why the Rebbe did it by Fabren, because he pushed it, didn't want to be matriach, the, 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 the whole crowd to stand up. No, by drinking, everybody holds, you have to sit. You're not allowed to drink standing during the week either, by the way. But especially when it comes to Kiddush, so then for sure you're supposed to sit down and, and, and drink a cup of wine. Many people sit in the halacha, it says many people sit Friday night also by Kiddush. Kabbalistically, you're supposed to stand. What? They day Kiddush, they sit, and by the night Kiddush. In, in Aloha, so some people sit for both, whatever. Okay. Machat Shin is a man, 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 a man,